Hello and welcome to Handstands with Natalie. I'm Natalie and this video is a stretching routine for opening up the shoulder line which is so important when we're practicing handstands and if you have really tight shoulders it's definitely useful to invest 15 to 20 minutes before your practice doing a stretching routine just like this so you can have nice and open shoulders for your handstands. Okay, and we start by standing up tall, pull the stomach in towards the spine and roll the shoulder backwards. First, we just do one arm here, are really articulating the shoulder into all directions. It's really important to warm up your shoulder line before you start doing upper body stretches. And same thing to the front as far up, front, down and back as you can. Really big, nice, juicy circles here. Really try to get a lot of movement into that shoulder and the adjoining muscles. And on the other side, same thing. Roll the shoulder backwards and allow the movement of the shoulder to affect your upper body really pull it up and back as much as you can and then take it to the front big circles making sure your scapula is moving on your back and then we do the same thing with both shoulders at the same time really imagine that your scapula is moving up and down on your back so when you pull the shoulders up, really make sure you pull them all the way up to the ears and back and down and front. And let's go to the back. Same thing. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, back, down, front, all directions. Really precise shoulder articulation movements. Yeah, so it's not just loose circles but really make sure you try to expand the circle into all directions and then pull the shoulders up to the ears and push them down pull them up to the ears and really push them down as far as you can and up and down up down up down up down it's kind of like a shrugging movement that just engages the muscles around your neck and the shoulder line. So now we are going to pull the shoulders back and front. So you want to kind of pull them front as if you were pushing something and then push them back. So it's really, if you watch it from the side, it's the arm going front and back. That's what it looks like, but it is the shoulder that is moving front and back. And you can also imagine to stick your chest out and round your back. But it's really about that thoracic spine movement here that we are trying to get going. So next step is curve and contract, my favorite exercise. You really wanna curve from the center of your chest. Make sure this happens in your chest and not in your lower back or middle back. And then open to a di diagonal here, a diagonal. Check that your arms are in a diagonal, not by your side. And let's do this. A couple of more times, curve and open, curve open, curve, open, curve, and open, curve, open, curve, open, and really curve from your upper back and open. Okay, great, and shake everything out. Next, we are going to do an exercise with a roller, or you can also take a stick or a towel here, but uh, whatever it is, hold it up above you. And we are trying to use this, whatever your object, chosen object is, to open up the shoulder line by pulling the neck towards the front, so chin to the chest, and then you really try and push your shoulders up and try to create an oppositional movement, yes? Yeah? So chin to the chest will help you to push your chosen object further towards the ceiling, yeah? So you wanna pull the shoulders, you wanna push them 
up and pushing the shoulders up will help you to open them in this case and develop the strength to open the shoulders. So you really want to push them up. That's what I mean by pushing the shoulders up. So chin to the chest and push the shoulders up and let's hold it here and hold it. Push them up a bit further. Really make sure that the direction of your push is up towards the ceiling. So if your shoulders are tight, this is going to challenge you and relax. And let's do this one more time. Chin to the chest, lift the arms up and elevate the shoulders, pull them up towards your ears and really try to create that line up towards the ceiling. Really hold it here, hold it with me and relax. Okay, excellent. So this is hard work if you are still working on your shoulder opening. One more time. Chin to the chest and try and push it a little bit further back to open more and we hold it here. So really make sure that you don't open your chest here but it really stays in the shoulder line and you're trying to push back further, back, 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 back and further back, back and push it back. Great. Very good. So this is slightly different from just pushing up. You are actively trying to pull the arms back here with your object above you and pull them back, back, back and back and pull back. Very good. Okay, great. This is for your active shoulder flexibility. And that's also really important for opening the shoulder line. Now we take the roller or the stick behind you and we're going to lift the arms up here, really pressing the hands together and up, up and lift, 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 up and up and great and relax. Make sure you don't round your back, but make sure you really keep that straight line alignment that we have established in the beginning and lift for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. Ten I wanted to do. Ten all together. Very good. Now let's take a slight angle here in the upper body. So I've got my torso at an angle and the knee slightly bent and the roller above me pulling my arms back here and back, 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 pull back and great. Okay, relax. We'll do that again. So this one is a little bit harder. Let's do it again. Really push back, 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 back and back, back, back and back. Very good. Okay, great. Let's leave the roller and take it here into a four point position and then bring the arms to the front. And here again, really focus on pushing your shoulders out instead of um, trying to um, push the chest to the ground. Really think of lengthening first and then you use the weight of your chest to bring the shoulder line closer to the floor and hold it here with me. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, so next we are going to do a similar curve and opening movement as in the standing exercise. And for that, we are going to push the shoulders to the floor and then curve here in a four point position and push to the floor and curve and to the floor, curve and down to the floor and curve and push the shoulders to the ground and curve and closer with the shoulder line and curve and down. And now stay here and you should feel like you can take it a little bit further to the ground. Don't forget to elevate your shoulders, stay in an active position here and breathe. Great, and come out of it. Now we take it into a downward facing dog here, where again, your focus should be on pushing the shoulders up into the ground and take the chin to the chest. This will help you to open your shoulder line. And again, really plant 
your fingers into the ground and use the weight of your upper body to push your shoulders closer to the ground. So you can look at your knees here and that will help you to open up the shoulders and push the shoulder line further to the ground and hold it here. And come out of it. We'll do it one more time so you can just get into a plank, sort of a plank position here. And then push back and same thing again, look at your knees, use the weight of your shoulder line to come closer. And as we did before, we curve and go closer, curve and closer, curve and closer to the ground, curve and closer to the ground. A couple more times and stay here and look at your knees and try to really push actively into the ground. Okay, and come out of it into a four point position. Okay, so next we are going to um, stretch one arm only. So I really have the chance here on my one arm to lean into the stretch on one side so i'm really i'm pulling my i'm putting the arm out to the front and so i get the chance to focus on the opening of one arm only first so here again i try and reach to the front as far as possible and then i really try and identify where's the tightness in the shoulder and then i lean into that pushing my shoulder further towards the ground and really make sure that you always keep an elevation and that you don't that you also that you don't don't curve your upper body but that you allow for a release to happen and then let's hold it here so you can put one hand up by your side here and I'm really focusing on pushing my shoulder towards the ground and I try and isolate this stretch in the upper body area so make sure that it doesn't all go into the lower back that you don't compensate and that you make sure this stretch happens in the upper body and shoulder line. Other arm, really push it out to the front and then make sure that you are stretching into the shoulder line and if you aren't feeling this stretch then you can curve the upper back slightly so you can dome it up slightly towards the ceiling to intensify the stretch and really push the shoulder and the triceps towards the ground and hold it and come out of it great so now let's push both hands to the front creating a curve in the upper back so curving the upper back may seem less important when you want to open your shoulders but this curve is very important to create more movement in your thoracic spine so again push the shoulders to the front curve the upper back and then bring the arms down to the floor and join the head okay now let's come to standing and let's Use the wall here for the next stretch. Really make sure you push your hands actively into the wall. So you're not just passively leaning into this, but you really push your hands into the wall. And now take the chin to the chest again and allow the weight of your head and your upper body to pull your shoulder line further towards the ground. So make sure it doesn't go into your lower back. And if it does, really make sure you slightly curve so that you can isolate this stretch in your upper back and come out of it. We'll do it again. Again, find the push into the wall and take the head through. And we pulse it like we did in the other exercises, coming out of it, coming out of it and back into it. So you take it up and down and then we hold it. You can take the arms a little bit deeper now if you want to. And um, so this may look a bit different when you do it, different from when I do it here, because I have a very mobile upper back. 
and if this is too intense for you you can also take the hands further up and the same principle applies here you push into the wall and then allow the weight of your upper back here to pull your shoulder line further towards the wall so you always want to elevate the shoulders and then use the weight of your body to come closer to the wall and open your shoulder line and one more time and we pulse again to the wall and curve towards the wall curve towards the wall curve towards the wall curve towards the wall curve and stay so it's your choice really where you want to keep your head here you can look at your fingers or take the head through and next now we take the arm into a diagonal on the wall for the front of your shoulders so here I lean into the wall and turn the other shoulder out and then hold it Make sure you feel that stretch in the front of your shoulder and then let's change to the other arm. Diagonal line, turn away with your shoulder from the shoulder that is pushing into the wall. And come out of it. Okay, great. Now just to finish off with shake your arms and let's take the arms up and elevate the arms up towards your shoulders here as you would in a handstand great so I hope that this has opened up your shoulder line a little bit more and prepared you for your handstand practice